Before we start our walk we're going to have a quick look round Ebden Bridge in no particular order, just anything we see. It's the first time we've been here so we don't really know what we're looking at but obviously you've got the weir there. Well there's about three bridges in a row so we thought we'd take a shot on each one. We're just in front of White Swan Pub now and there seems to be a bit of a square here, somebody playing music in that. So. And we've got some near at side at river trying to balance three stones on top of each other. Look. He's done it. There you are. That's three freestanding stones. And people are coming down to have a look. Yeah, we just sat at side at river. Nice sunny day. And here we are again. They're having another go. Well it's certainly a town with plenty of bridges and it's just starting to rain now. We're just overlooking the canal here. Everything's at random because we can't put everything on. And there's a nice picture looking at the other side. And we'll just finish off with Bridgegate because we want to go and do our walk now. It's a lovely spot is Hebden Bridge. We can't show everything and we need enough film left for the walk. But it's well worth a day out is this and we shall be back. And just in front of us we've got Hebden Bridge Mill. We're just on our way now towards the car park to start our walk and we've looked over the river in Hebden Bridge. And down below there look we can see a heron. As we make our way towards the end of the road in the car parks we see there's a public convenience on your right hand side. They're very clean and uh, it's 20 pence to enter. Should we just have a quick look to our left hand side? And then as you cross over the bridge you've got the National Trust car park on your right which is free for members but the general public car park is another 200 yards further on on your right hand side slightly up the hill the car parking is £3.50 all day. We're in West Yorkshire today, just outside Hebden Bridge. We've come to the end of the road. We've come to walk Hardcastle Crags. It's around, it's about five mile long and hopefully full of bluebells. So we head forward, slightly downhill out the car park and then we're going to turn right. We'll be back to you. So we're following the little track at the side of the road down towards the information point and straight away you can see the bluebells in front of us and that looks like the information point let's go and have a look just at the side of the information point you'll see a board turn left towards Gibson's Mill and then just at the side of the information point that's for wheelchair access and it's about a mile to the mill so if you're in a wheelchair or a pushchair you can still come in do part of this walk. There we are, we're going up to Hardcastle Crags. So at the information point we turn left, walk 50 yards and then immediate right and you'll see the signpost saying mill walking picnic areas. It's the 14th of May, this is a new walk for us so we don't know what to expect. We're going to head forward past the garlic on the right hand side. We've been asked to find some walks with bluebells and uh, we got told about this one when we were at Massam last week. He says if you come to Hebden Bridge, Hardcastle Crags, you won't be disappointed. Well let's go and have a look. 
So we just keep heading forward. The path follows the river on your left hand side. And we've got uh, a few picnic tables. You're walking with a taxi driver today. We're just crossing over a tiny stream. It looks like we're in for a good day today. Just past the tiny stepping stones. Another 50 feet, the path splits into two. So we decide to turn left, down the steps, following the river towards Gibson's Mill. After two or three minutes on your left hand side, you'll come to a weir. We're told there's plenty of wildlife on this river, so we'll be keeping a lookout for uh, kingfishers in dippers. As you head forward, you'll see a tiny little waterfall on your right hand side. We walk up the steps just to the left of that. So we're going along the path. The river's on our left hand side, possibly about 80 feet below. After a few minutes, the path takes you down towards the river, and then we come to our second weir. There's so much to see on this walk. We can only give you a tiny snapshot. Well, there's a heron here, I don't know if it's real or not. It's just there. It's about 80 foot in front of us, not moving a Oh, it's fishing. Oh, it is real. He's there fishing, looking for a fish. It was so still there, it just looked like a, as if it was a stuffed animal, but obviously it's not. He's there looking at the river for, see if he can catch a fish. He's not moving a muscle, but he's got his eye on the water there, look. He's just moved a touch there, look. But uh, we, can, we, think, we think he's seen something there, look. He's ready. He's only small, though. We don't honestly know that if that is a heron, to be honest. Seems small for a heron. He's just jumped in water there. Oh, it is a heron, yeah. Well, he didn't catch nothing. We thought he might not be a heron, but he is. When you see him from side, we'll leave him for now. Well, we've only been walking half an hour. And we've got our first bit of wildlife, that heron. So it looks like we're in for a good day today. As you walk forward, you'll see paths leading off to the right. But you just keep heading forward, keeping the river pretty close on your left-hand side. As you're heading forward, you'll see some stepping stones in a seat. But we just keep heading forward. Keeping the river on our left hand side. He's got a fish. Look at that, he's got a fish, he's got a fish. This is fantastic. That heron, we've copped him a bit further up river and he's caught a fish there. That is fantastic. Yes. Just past the seat. This heron's so tame, we're only about 30 feet away. He can see us as clear as anything. But there we are, we got our, uh, we got in with a fish which is just unbelievable. We just go a bit further now. Well our heron still keeps following us up river. He's actually in the woods now. There he is, can you see him at the other side? Right in centre of your picture. 30 feet away. It's the tamest heron we've ever seen. It's a lovely day now, sun's out. We just keep following the path through the woods. We're about Sometimes two feet from the river, sometimes 30 feet. We just keep heading forward towards the mill now. You'll be walking along. On your right hand side you'll see a seat. Look to your left. You've stepping stones there. And what looks like uh, an old wooden hut with a stone outbuilding there. But we just keep heading forward, keeping the river on your left. 
just past the stepping stones we look over the other side and you can see there's a load of picnic tables but we just keep heading forwards just walk forward a couple hundred yards and you'll see Gibson's Mill in front of you and there's toilets over the bridge a visitor centre, cafe and shop when you get to the mill you'll see there's like a little nature room and you can go in there and get your centre leaflet and just have a look round and see what's in the woodlands it's free just looking over the bridge we've got a dipper here not a dipper, a grey wagtail so now we've took a picture either side of the bridge so we've just crossed over the bridge the cafe at the back is not open on a Monday but it's open the rest of the week they need time to decorate and a bit of time off you can see the toilets upstairs in that building in front of you just down below the bridge I think we have a pair of grey wagtails on it we think they must be feeding young because they keep flying under in with a beak full of insects there look yeah he's got a few insects there I've got him we've we found the nest he's just come out well that's his nest there we've just got the camera there waiting till they come back out he's just come back now just down here just see him on that stone there look they're off we'll have to leave this now because we've a lot to do but there he is he's at the far side on the far wall below the window just next to the bridge after stopping at the mill we go back onto the track and keep heading forward slightly uphill now we're heading towards Hardcastle Crags as we walk down the side of the mill we look to the left and quite surprised to see the view you've got the mill pond at the back there look and then we walk down the side of the mill pond and we can see a waterfall at the back coming into the river so we take a shot careful not to step back into the pond and then we turn round and we can see the weir on our left hand side and the mill race in front of us and then we walk forward 50 feet we can go down some steps to some stepping stones to get to the other side if we want but we decide to stop at this side get down onto the river and take a shot of the weir we walk up to the weir and just above you can see like a, a waterfall coming down and that must be another holding pond you know from years ago when the mill was in use and then we just have a a quick look up the river before we make our way back to the path to carry on walking up towards Hardcastle Crags just past the mill on your left hand side there's a tiny place there for uh, staff and it's disabled parking as well and we'll just keep going on up the hill we're steadily going uphill now but as you can see there's plenty of seats uh, dotted about as you're heading forward the road splits one goes off to the left but we keep bearing right uphill you'll see a bird box in front of you in about the second tree as we've steadily walked uphill we've passed Hardcastle crags we keep walking up the main track ignoring any side paths and this should take us to the end of the wood we're not far off now and we're heading towards Walshaw when you come out of the wood you'll head on to a tarmac track just keep heading forward we cross over a little stream as we head towards Walshaw just as you get to Walshaw you'll see Walshaw Cottage in front look to your right hand side and you'll see a path that goes back on itself through the gate and we're heading towards Crimsworth Dean and you're just walking between 
a wall track that opens out into fields in front of you. Just keep walking through a gate and then it looks as if the path goes on the inside of the wall over the hill down into the other valley. You just keep bearing round to the right uphill near the top you'll come to a gate go through it turn right walk forward for about three or four hundred yards until the track starts going slightly downhill on your right hand side you'll see a gate straight through there going towards Crimsworth Dean as you head downhill you'll pass this old ruined farm on your right hand side before we go downhill any further let's just give you a quick look across the valley as we head downhill and we shall shortly be turning right we see like another old farmhouse there look with the roof missing and it gives us an excuse to let you have a look at the countryside we walk through the gate with the building or with a barn on our left hand side we look to the right we see a post saying South Pennine Pack Horse Trail we t we're going to have a quick look at the building and then we're going to turn right and head off along the trail towards Hebden Bridge and there's just a quick shot of it down there so there we are just in front of the farm while we're at the old building or barn we decide to have a quick look in and can you see them like old steps there or oh, what's left of them well we'll press on we've got the valley down below and the hills up above and on your left hand side just down below you've got another old farm and we'll just give you a quick look at the valley We're heading forward along the track on the right hand side. Just keep heading forward and then you'll go through a gate by the side of a farm. As we walk past the farm and go downhill we take another quick shot of our left hand side down to the little stream at the bottom. And then a hundred yards further on we cross over the cattle grid and we're into Grimsworth Dean Wood and we just keep steadily going downhill following the track towards the river and as we head down through the wood we've got a fair few bluebells but there's plenty of garlic and as you're heading forward downhill just spend a minute with your camera and take a shot it's a great view going down towards Hebden Bridge we just keep it in forward you'll pass a bench on your right hand side just turn round and look back great shot that with farm and the lambs on the hill but just keep going steadily downhill we've just got a pheasant there look among the bluebells Well, he's hiding behind that tree. I can just see his head there. Yep, yeah, there he is, pecking away. Well, we'll leave him for now. We walk by the side of, uh, on our left-hand side, Hardcastle Crags in Hollin Hall. It's a National Trust property. And as you can see, we just follow the track straight forward downhill. Well here we are, we've made our way back to the car park, this is the river just below it, car parks are just to the left. This has been a new walk for us over at Hebden Bridge, West Yorkshire, we've enjoyed every minute of it. We hope you've enjoyed the walk just as much as us, you've been walking with a taxi driver today. <laughs>